What is going on guys, Danny here and I'm back with another video. And today we're going to be looking at the performance of the Intel Core i5 6600K when overclocked to 4.6 GHz and compare it to the performance we get from its stock speeds. The results I will be showing are from the few benchmarks that I ran to test the performance of the processor. So for our test system, I will be using the same rig that I featured in my previous video where I showcased my 2015 gaming slash workstation setup. The link for that video will be in the description down below. If you haven't already seen it, definitely do check that out. The specifications for the test system consist of the following. For the CPU, I have the Intel Core i5 6600K processor. This is based on Intel's 6th generation Skylake architecture. For our CPU cooler, we have a Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO. And for our motherboard, we have a Gigabyte G1 Z170 Gaming 7. For the RAM, I went with a pair of G-Skill Rip Jaws V-Series 2x4 kit running at 2800 MHz. For the graphics card, we have a MSI Radeon R9 390. For the storage, our system has a SanDisk Ultra 2 480GB solid state drive and two Western Digital 1TB hard drives. Powering the whole system, we have an EVGA Supernova 750W G2 80 plus gold power supply. And finally for the case, I went with the Corsair Carbide Series Speco 2 which will provide ample airflow to, throughout the entire system. Now that I went over the specs of the test system, let's jump right into these benchmarks so you can see the results for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And there you guys have it. From the results, we can see that there's definitely a considerable increase in performance when you overclock this processor. In benchmarks such as WPROM and Cinebench, we saw an increase of 36% and 33% respectively. I also thought that it would be interesting to include the results that I obtained from 3D Mark Firestrike to show if overclocking had any effect on a graphics-based test, which in this case, it barely did. Now keep in mind that these are synthetic benchmarks which don't really re reflect any real world performance, so I'm going to try my best to do another video in the future showcasing a real world scenario such as gaming. So definitely be on the lookout for that, and if you guys enjoyed this video please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, like this video if you liked it, and subscribe for more videos like this.